The party was swinging, the walls were shaking. The floor shook, they were almost breaking. Then a cry rang out that silenced them all. A scream of horror, and it came from the hall. There on the mat lay the corpse of a cat. It lay there quite flat in a pool of red splat. With lights blue and red, the detective arrived to see who was dead. I'm the detective in Genius and Bold. I'll soon find the victim before it gets cold. Excuse me, detective, but the answer is clear. We all know the killer. The killer is here. Yes, thank you, most helpful. I'll keep that in mind. Was there a witness or were you all half blind? No one remembers who last saw the cat. Was it in this room or on the door mat? And who are you, miss, if I may make so bold? How knew this corpse which is now going cold? I was his mistress, his best friend on side. We shared good times traveling worldwide. A mistress, a female, and perhaps one quite fatal. Our victim here met you and now he's quite lethal. Our cat here was not stabbed to death. It was a gun that stole his breath. He was shot, quite a lot, and then left here to rot. So now, dear detective, what should we do? Should we look around and find some clues? Party people, please listen to me. This is the way things are going to be. I will ask you all questions and find out the truth about the death of the cat named Ruth. So the people lined up and they did what he said. They told him about how the cat became dead. But wait, what is this? A collar, my goodness, now that's a surprise. How did it get there? What can we surmise? It must have been dropped by the killer for sure. How else could it come to be there on the floor? Property of Peter Perkins, it read. We know who did it, the detective said. It was Peter Perkins who now should be dead. <laughs> Charlie, where have you been this time for bed? <laughs> 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 <sighs> uh, hello. Would you like to uh, join us for uh, the remaining well, part of our party? Thank you very much. Yeah. mind. So that concludes the mystery of the corpse on the mat. It was in fact little Peter's toy cat.